Well, new at six, California has the largest homeless population in the nation. And let's be honest, we see the impact every single day across the region. We certainly do. Sister Libby Fernandez is one person making a difference. Rain or shine, she is out on the streets providing food and comfort. ABC 10's Candace Red has her story. What would you like today? Cream and sugar? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Cream and sugar today? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Every morning in front of the Cathedral of the Blessed Sacrament. Hi, one Cadillac coming up. Sister Libby Fernandez is bringing mercy to those that need it the most. We serve those who are homeless, men and women. Libby started Mercy Peddlers in 2016. It's a nonprofit organization committed to welcoming the stranger. We ask permission to come and say hello. And once the person says, yes, I would love a cup of coffee, then you get a little closer, you see eye to eye, and you start a dialogue of trust, communication, and care that goes both ways. Volunteers ride bikes and trikes equipped with goods to help make a difference in the lives of others. And we bring hygiene items, soap, shampoo, coffee, nutritional bars, resources, how to get into shelters, but most importantly, we connect. Bye, George. Take care. Libby says Mercy Peddlers has grown over time with more than 300 volunteers in the Sacramento region. And now we've been doing it for seven years in different communities from Carmichael to Oak Park to um, downtown Sacramento. So each volunteer Mercy Peddler goes out at least once a week for a couple hours in their various neighborhood. And so we've seen thousands of folks each day. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. You're okay. God bless you. According to the nonprofit Sacramento Steps Forward, six in 1,000 people are homeless in Sacramento County, and people of color experience homelessness at disproportionately higher rates. We are lacking affordable, supportive housing for any group of people. For people who are working hard, people who have two jobs and trying to you know, pay for their rent, um, to people who can't afford rent. So when I was um, unsheltered and experiencing homelessness, it wasn't because of any mental health or issues like that. It was purely economic. I was still working a full-time job, but couldn't afford the rent. So I had to sleep in my car for three months. And she's not alone. Sacramento Steps Forward says black people are three times more likely to be homeless than the general population in Sacramento, and Native Americans are four times more likely to be homeless. The organization blames historic housing discrimination, like redlining, racial segregation, and the denial of capital to people of color. Systemic racism that has led to where we are today, and it's deep and rooted in our policies and our housing policies and uh, disparities in economic status, and so it's led to a housing crisis. The answer to homelessness, to ending homelessness, is housing. Bye, guys. Until homelessness ends, Libby says Mercy Peddlers wants to be able to continue to connect, um, gain that trust from each individual, so when there is shelters, when there is housing, that we're able to say, I can walk you through the steps.